Good evening. This is All India Radio and I'm Tanvi Taneja with the news at 9. The headlines Campaigning for sixth phase of Lok Sabha elections reached feverish pitch top leaders of all political parties hold back to back rallies in different parts of the country Prime Minister Narendra Modi says along with ease of doing business his government has also ensured ease of living Congress president Rahul Gandhi alleges prime minister did injustice to farmers and the youth Senior officials of India and China to discuss trade related issues in New Delhi tomorrow Iran announces partial withdrawal from 2015 nuclear deal. China and Russia voice support for Iran to uphold pact. And in IPL cricket, eliminator between Delhi Capitals and Sunrisers Hyderabad underway at Visakhapatnam. Campaigning has reached a feverish pitch for the remaining two phases of Lok Sabha elections. Senior leaders and star campaigners of different political parties held rallies today for the remaining phases. Polling in the sixth phase will be held on 12th of May in 59 parliamentary constituencies spread across seven states. These seats are 14 in Uttar Pradesh, 10 in Haryana, 8 each in Bihar, West Bengal and Madhya Pradesh, 7 in Delhi and 4 in Jharkhand. Senior BJP leader and Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a public meeting in Delhi at the Ramleela Maidan. He said his government has not only worked to enhance ease of doing business but has also ensured ease of living for the people. Aapke majboot samarthan ke karan hi aaj naye bharat ka rasta prasast ho raha hai. Humne 5 saal mein na sirf ease of doing business ki ranking mein record sudhar kiya balki usse aage badhkar ease of living ke liye kaam kiya. Earlier today the prime minister held public meetings at Sirsa and Kurukshetra in Haryana. Senior BJP leader and Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh spoke at a public rally in Haryana's Gurugram. He said if voted to power, the sedition law will be reviewed for any weaknesses and will be made more stringent. Sarkar banne ke baad to main yah dekhunga कानून का यदि कोई भी ऐसा पहलू है जिसमें कहीं पर कोई कमजोरी है तो बहनों भाई तो राष्ट्रद्रोह का कानून तो हम इतना सख्त बनाएंगे कि राष्ट्रद्रोह करने वाले को कानून की याद आते ही के रूह का कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट राहुल गांधी एड्रेस्ड पब्लिक मीटिंग्स एट भिंड मुरैना एंड ग्वालियर इन मध्य प्रदेश ही सेड इन द लास्ट फाइव ईयर्स प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी डिड इनजस्टिस टू द फार्मर्स एंड द यूथ He said that Mr Modi waived off the loans of selected industrialists. He also spoke on his party's proposed NIAI scheme. NIAI योजना जैसे ही चालू हो जैसे डायरेक्ट आपके बैंक अकाउंट में पैसा आएगा ऐसे ही वो 25 करोड़ लोग मान खरीदना शुरू करेंगे तो हिंदुस्तान के अर्थव्यवस्था को जंप स्टार्ट करेगी NIAI योजना Congress General Secretary Priyanka Gandhi Vadra held a road show in Delhi's Brahmapuri today. Former Delhi Chief Minister Sheila Dixit, who is the party's candidate from Northeast Delhi, was also present at the road show. Talking to reporters, she said that Congress will work towards the development of Delhi. इस वक्त दिल्ली की हालत कम से कम मैं फर्स्ट हैंड पे तो अपनी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी की बात करूं बहुत खराब है गंदगी डेवलपमेंट नहीं सड़कें नहीं तो उसको ठीक करना है और ये चुनौती हमारे सामने रहेगी कैंपेनिंग इन द नेशनल कैपिटल डेली चीफ मिनिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल सेड दैट हिज पार्टी विल मेक डेली अ मॉडल सिटी हमारा जो मॉडल है दिल्ली के विकास का दिल्ली के अंदर जितनी कच्ची कॉलोनियां हैं हम इनको ठीक करना चाहते हैं हम यहाँ पे सारी सुविधाएं देंगे इन कच्ची कॉलोनियों को खूबसूरत बनाएंगे किसी का मकान नहीं तोड़ेंगे यहाँ सड़कें बनाएंगे पीने का पानी की पाइपलाइन डालेंगे अ ज्वाइंट रैली ऑफ समाजवादी पार्टी बहुजन समाज पार्टी एंड राष्ट्रीय लोक दल वॉज हेल्ड एट आजमगढ़ इन उत्तर प्रदेश टूडे बीएसपी चीफ मायावती अपील्ड टू वोटर्स टू वोट फॉर अखिलेश यादव हु इज फाइटिंग इलेक्शन फ्रॉम आजमगढ़ सीट Ms Mayawati charged the BJP of adopting the divide and rule policy. Narendra Modi ko ye kehna pada ki aap kitne bhi hasan de istemal kar le ye gadbandhan ab phoodne wala nahi hai ye gadbandhan lamba chalega aage chalega. Meanwhile campaigning has intensified in Madhya Pradesh for the sixth phase eight constituencies will go to polls in this phase. 
Our Bhopal correspondent has the details. In the sixth phase of Lok Sabha elections in Madhya Pradesh, BJP and Congress fielded their heavyweight leaders in the campaign. From BJP, National President Amit Shah led the campaign and address rallies. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath and Union Minister Smriti Irani accompanied him. While Rahul Gandhi took the charge of Congress campaign and participated in rallies in Bhind, Morena and Gwalior. Chief Minister Kamal Nath and senior Congress leader Deepa Das Munshi joined the Congress campaign. Sanjeev Sharma, AIR News, Bhopal. In Bihar, leaders of NDA and the Grand Alliance are campaigning in the state to woo the voters. Addressing election meetings at Maharaj Ganj and Sivan, JDU President and Chief Minister Nitish Kumar alleged that during the RJD government, Bihar people suffered a lot. On the other hand, asking people to vote in favor of Grand Alliance, RJD leader Tejasvi Yadav said this election is a fight to save the country and the reservation system. पांच साल बीत गया और अब तक बिहार को विशेष आज का दर्जा नहीं मिला कहीं मांग नहीं किया इनको बिहार के चिंता नहीं है इनको केवल और केवल चिंता है नीतीश कुमार जी को अपने कुर्सी को बचाने की पोलिंग फॉर द सेवेंथ एंड द फाइनल फेज विल बी हेल्ड ऑन मे नाइनटीन इन हिमाचल प्रदेश फोर सीट विल गो टू पोल्स इन दिस फेज टॉकिंग टू ए आई आर वोटर्स सेड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज आर वन ऑफ देर टॉप प्रायोरिटीज इन दिस इलेक्शन मेरा नाम मीनाक्षी विशिष्ट है और मैं हिमाचल प्रदेश के हमीरपुर लोकसभा क्षेत्र के उन्ना जिला की रहने वाली हूं। मैंने एमबीए तक पढ़ाई की है हिमाचल प्रदेश में रोजगार के कोई ज्यादा अवसर ना तो सरकारी क्षेत्र में और ना ही गैर सरकारी क्षेत्र में उपलब्ध है मैं चाहती हूं कि जो भी सरकार केंद्र में बने वह हमारे राज्य में उद्योगों के अलावा केंद्रीय संस्थान स्थापित करे ताकि पढ़े लिखे युवाओं को रोजगार के अवसर मिले मैं मनीष तोमर शिमला लोकसभा क्षेत्र ऐसी कैंडिडेट हमारा ऐसा होना चाहिए जो हमारी प्रॉब्लम को समझे और उसके लिए कार्य करे द काउंटिंग ऑफ वोट विल बी हेल्ड ऑन ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ दिस मंथ The Election Commission has ordered re-polling at one polling booth of Kamaraj Nagar Assembly segment of Puducherry Parliamentary Constituency. Re-polling will be held on 12th of May from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Polling at this booth was held on the 18th of last month. Re-polling was necessitated because after the mock poll, the voting slips in the VDP AT were not removed before the start of polls. Tamil Nadu Chief Electoral Officer Satyabrata Sahu has clarified that shifting of EVMs or VVPATs during election period is a normal activity. Shifting of over 54 ballot units and 109 control units of the EVMs and 50 VVPATs from Coimbatore to Theni and Erode yesterday led to demonstration by opposition DMK and Congress. Talking to reporters in Chennai this afternoon, Mr. Sahu said there is no breach in the strong rooms where EVMs with votes polled in the April 18th elections are being preserved. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on our Twitter handle at AIR News Alerts. News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program. Janadesh 2019 on the developments related to the general elections 2019 tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4:05 p.m. to 4:30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program Senior officials of India and China will meet in New Delhi tomorrow to discuss trade related issues particularly matters concerning the agriculture sector The Chinese side will be led by Li Guo, Vice Minister of the General Administration of Customs of China. From the Indian side, officials from different departments including Commerce, Agriculture, Animal Husbandry and the Agricultural and Processed Food Products Export Development Authority would participate in the meeting. Our correspondent reports the meeting assumes significance as India is seeking greater market access for its manufactured and agricultural products in the Chinese market. to bridge the widening trade deficit Iran has pulled out of some commitments made under the 2015 international nuclear deal a year after it was abandoned by the US Iran's Supreme National Security Council said the measure was necessary to secure its rights and bring back balance it added that the remaining parties to the deal are given 60 days to implement their commitments in particular in the fields of banking and oil 
The Council was referring to the commitment made by Britain, China, France, Germany and Russia to lift sanctions on Iran in return for it curbing its nuclear activities. Meanwhile, China has called on all parties to uphold the Iranian nuclear pact. China said it resolutely opposes the unilateral US sanctions against Iran. Russia also denounced US pressure and said it stood by the Iran nuclear deal. However, Britain has called Iran's decision an unwelcome step that could lead to new Western sanctions. In Pakistan, at least 10 people, including five police commanders, have been killed in a suicide bomb blast outside the famous Data Darbar shrine in Lahore today. The incident left 25 others injured. The Jamatul Ahrar, a breakaway faction of the Tehreek e Taliban Pakistan, has claimed responsibility for the attack. The Data Darbar Shrine is visited by hundreds of thousands of people every year. In 2010, the shrine was targeted in a suicide attack that had killed more than 40 people. Vice President M. Venkia Naidu will embark on a four-day official visit to Vietnam from tomorrow. An official release said the visit is expected to enhance India's comprehensive strategic partnership with the Southeast Asian nation. The National Crisis Management Committee, NCMC, under the Cabinet Secretary P.K. Sinha, today reviewed the rescue and relief measures in cyclone fauny affected areas of Odisha. According to an official release, the Odisha government informed that the situation in aid out of the total nine affected districts has improved and power and telecom services are gradually picking up in the worst affected areas of Puri and Bhuvneshwar. It said water supply in urban and rural areas has been restored to a large extent with the help of diesel generator sets. The Reserve Bank of India today said that farm loan waivers and income support schemes are increasing the risks to fiscal consolidation of the states. The remarks were made during a meeting between the members of the 15th Finance Commission and the RBI senior officials including Governor Shaktikant Das and the Deputy Governors at the Central Bank Headquarters in Mumbai. A statement from the RBI said that the Central Bank in its presentation listed out the specific factors that will drive fiscal slippages in the revised estimates of fiscal year 2019, FY19, including the Uday scheme in the past and farm loan waivers and income support schemes in FY19 revised estimates. At the stock markets, the key indices posted losses for the sixth straight day today and the rupee fell sharply against the dollar. We have a report. The Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange plummeted 488 points to close at 37,789. The Nifty plunged 138 points to 11,359. At the foreign exchange market, the rupee depreciated 28 paise to 69 rupees and 71 paise against the US dollar. And Brent crude future shed 25 cents to trade at 69 dollars and 63 cents per barrel. Arjun Choudhury for AIR News. In IPL cricket, Sunrisers Hyderabad were 160 for 5 in 19.2 overs against Delhi Capitals in the eliminator match in Vishakapatnam a short while ago. Delhi had won the toss and put Hyderabad to bat. The losing side will crash out of the tournament while the winning team will take on Chennai Super Kings in the second qualifier on Friday. In first qualifier at Chennai last night, Mumbai made it to the final beating defending champions Chennai by 6 wickets. The final will be played in Hyderabad on Sunday. Noted writer Sanjeev Chattopadhyay, classical dancer Sonal Man Singh and tabla maestro Pandit Swapan Chaudhary were conferred with honorary D.Lit degrees by the Rabindra Bharati University in Kolkata today. The Chancellor of the University and West Bengal Governor K. Srinath Tripathi presented the degrees at the annual convocation today. And now before we wrap up the bulletin, here are the headlines once again. Campaigning for sixth phase of Lok Sabha elections reach feverish pitch. Top leaders of all political parties hold back-to-back -back rallies in different parts of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says, along with ease of doing business, his government has also ensured ease of living. Congress President Rahul Gandhi alleges, Prime Minister did injustice to farmers and the youth. Senior officials of India and China to discuss trade-related issues in New Delhi tomorrow. Iran announces partial withdrawal from 2015 nuclear deal. China and Russia voice support for Iran to uphold pact. And in IPL cricket, eliminator between Delhi Capitals and Sunrisers Hyderabad underway at Vishakha Patanam. And that is all in the news at 9. From all of us here, good night.